Hey YouTube, how's it going? Errol here, the Comic Chief, and today is Throwback Thursday. I am also going to be doing two videos today, but this one, this one's actually, this one's different. I don't know if I've seen this before, uh, but hopefully you like it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, so what you see in front of you would be the new Incredible Hulk, issue number 377. You may have seen it on some recent videos from some awesome peeps in the comic book community. Uh, for example, it's also been on the top 10 list for last week. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to go through the comic. We're not going to recap it. What we're going to do is actually uh, go through it. We're going to take a look at the ads. And I've done a little um, homework. Actually, all I did was open up some tabs. And we're going to take a look at um, any pictures or hopefully there's some commercials from back in the day. So this issue is from 1990. Uh, so the first ad when you open it up would be this Super Mario Brothers shampoo. I was not able to find any um, commercials on it, but uh, there's the page right there of what you see in front of you. And then uh, there there was, you know, just some some images. Uh, so I remember having this as a kid. Um, yeah, that shows my age. Let me know in the comment section below if you've used any Super Mario Brothers shampoo or bubble bath. All right, so moving on, uh, let's flip through. And the next one is uh, a commercial or an advertisement for Wrath of the Black Manta. So let's go ahead and go to that. And I'm going to give credit to the original videos in um, my description so this one was done by tofu katsu and we're not going to go look at the entire 41 minutes of gameplay but uh yeah so look how old school that is uh, pretty cool i guess uh let's take a look at a little bit more gameplay but uh yeah. Who remembers playing this game on Nintendo? Because I definitely don't. Um, hopefully it'll come out on the Switch emulator. Alright, uh, that's enough of that. So, let's continue on. Oh, look! Uh, Gargoyle's Quest. Uh, let's see if I found anything on that. It's a Game Boy advertisement, and I didn't find anything specifically for Gargoyle's Quest, but let's go ahead and take a look at this commercial. Uh, yeah, uh, I remember my first Game Boy, and it was actually really great, and I played it for years, maybe a decade, I don't know, I even, I, I don't know, uh, let's continue on, uh, how cool were those commercials, alright, so, um, let's see, oh, I didn't look this one up, so I missed one, my bad, uh, let's see what else there is. Uh, Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Um, so this is what I found for a trailer for it. I think it was part of a uh, emulator commercial. Man, games were so hard back in the day. So to me, it looked like they took Street Fighter, they mixed it up with Mega Man, and yeah, like I actually kind of want to play this game. These are these are my kind of games. Um, let me know if you played this. Is it good? Is it worth it? Um, yeah, yeah. So it's a Nintendo eShop. Maybe one day I'll I'll do a uh, a gameplay of it. All right. So next. We will continue on, and it looks here like an Arc Rivals, or Arch Rivals. Uh, it's a basketball game, uh, and here it is. Uh, so yeah, I couldn't find a commercial. It was just a little gameplay. 
Um, I love basketball games like this. Actually, right now, what I play on my Switch would be uh, NBA Playgrounds 2, and it's super fun. It kind of reminds me of uh, NBA Jam. So this one, this one is actually like an early version of Playground. You get to like beat people up, steal the ball, no fouls. I think they're playing in their tidy whiteies. Yikes! Uh, Mohawk and Reggie. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Hmm. All right. So here is a nice two-page spread of Tiger Games, the electronic games. Uh, these were actually still pretty popular, you know, like ten years ago, or maybe like fifteen years ago. But uh, check out this 1990. Tiger brings you game talk, talking games like Snake's Revenge. Lieutenant, let's put the plan into effect. Yes, sir. Any issue, check. I got two bullets. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got key card number one. Watch out, Metal Gear ahead. Mission accomplished. Game Talk Snake's Revenge, the next generation from Tiger Electronics. Sweet. All right. Uh, so continuing on, uh, there's some advertisements to get some comics. And here's a two-page spread of Marvel Universe trading cards. And I did find a commercial for that. I remember Sometimes when you don't have much to do, you can think up the most amazing things. Fantastic creatures with incredible powers. Now there are trading cards for anybody who's ever imagined anything. The all-new Series 2 Marvel Universe trading cards. Maybe they don't really exist. But on the other hand, maybe they do. <laughs> Alright, so one thing that makes me sad about no more Saturday morning cartoons and everything Hello. being Oh, online, everybody, we're taking like a look at Marvel Netflix trading cards here today. On digital Chris stuff like Fred. that. Is you don't get to watch the commercials and, uh, I don't know, things are different. So, all right, let's see. Uh, so here I could not find a commercial, so I just got the the search pulled up for uh, collect books. I remember these. Um, I used to have a lot for NFL. Uh, so here you'll just see the, the baseball stuff. But uh, yeah, they had NFL, different sports. There's some NBA. But I, I definitely had a lot of the NFL collect books. All right. And we're almost done. I think there's one more. This is an awesome book. And I'm just paging through it like it's not worth anything. But it is. It's a key. All right. Uh, so here, the final advertisement would be The Punisher, a uh, Nintendo game. And uh, let's check it out. Ready. Aim. Punish. The Punisher for Nintendo. Explosive arcade action. State-of-the-art weapon. Got the guts. The Punisher for Nintendo from LJN. Everything's a target. Even you. That's it. All right, so uh, that's all I got, YouTube. Let me know what you think about this. It's just this just like a, oh, I forgot to do this one. Uh, is this a shameless plug for views? Uh, I thought maybe, hey, it's just me doing something different. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's just check this out. Konami laser scope. And see if there's a nice video for that one. I actually begged my mom for this. She never got it for me. Probably a good idea because it would have been a waste of money. Uh, I don't see a trailer. Uh, but I see a lot of grown men, uh, using it. All right, let's, uh. Let's just do one last search. Yeah, and if you don't use Bing, uh, you should because you get free points and you could redeem those for gift cards. Um, yeah, I don't see one. But uh, you can probably see, oh, this one's probably pretty close. No. All 
Just look at these guys play it. Uh, Mick Floppy. 5,000 views? Dang. Um. Uh, so, we're going to play some laser scope. Yes. Using this incredibly heavy headpiece. <laughs> I have never used it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check that out. Okay. Fire! Wow. Okay, so make sure you go to McFloppy's page and subscribe to them. And um, yeah, that's all I got, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Errol the Comic Chief going offline.